All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to make a timeout detection between your ignition gateway and your PLC. So here we have some code, some structured text. I'll provide this for you. We've got two timers here, and those both are going to be utilized, and then we have a zero heartbeat variable, which this is going to always zero this. As you can see here, it's always zeroing it, and then um, ignition is going to continually set it to one. And, uh, let me open that. So over here, it's going to continue to set it to one. As you can see here, by utilizing the system function write value. So I did this in particular for every cell, so all this is the same. Um, but as you can see here, in our case, we're going to be using I6. So right here. So you target the server uh, as you're writing. It will tell you what you need as its arguments, but um, the server is going to be this up here, RPC UA server, and then you're going to target your address, you're going to target your location, and so how to do this is by pressing the plus sign, going to browse devices, targeting your device, in our case it's, uh, it's i6, where to go, i6. And then you're going to right click on whatever you want and then copy the path. So basically, you're going to, that's, how you're, that's the way you're going to copy it. You're not going to copy it through here because it will give you a different path structure. So after that, um, you will add that in there. And actually, I'll give you a little detail. So as you can see right now, it's, it's, uh, it's going back and forth. So if I were to go into here and target I6, let's go ahead and just, uh, let's go ahead and just set that to zero. Apply, OK, save, go down in here, and as you can see, it is not changing anymore. And so in this code right here, the disconnect detected, that, so as you can see, it turned to true. So basically what this does is, if it's zero, so in other words, if ignition is not constantly pushing it to one every 2.5 seconds, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, right here, 2.5 seconds, then it's going to run the timer, start the timer, which that timer, as I mentioned earlier, is up here, and it's set to 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds of it being zero, meaning that ignition never actually turned it to one, it will turn on disconnected detected, that's true, and then you can actually utilize this Boolean variable within your code however you'd like. Um, that should be everything. I'm gonna go back and turn it to one, just to give you guys another look at it, save, and then shortly after that you'll see this toggling back and forth, as you can see there. So yeah, I will provide the structured text code if you guys need it. Uh, it's kind of jumbled because there's extra stuff in here as well, but we're utilizing two timers, timer on delays, and then we are utilizing this code right here. So let me see if I can highlight all that. So all that, and then these two timers up here. So, yeah, let me know if you guys have questions.